Salto W1 has reached its, in fact, it's smashed its Kickstarter goal, which means that probably going to exist. And I thought, what better way to celebrate than to clean my upstairs windows, which I have not pre-cleaned before the demonstration. I'll explain more on that in a minute. But yeah, we're going to go upstairs and clean the bedroom windows. <sighs> We're not going to use a Dyson either. We'll definitely explain about that. <sighs> Let's have a look. Yes, hello, my vacuum cleaner chums. How are you today? Yes, the machine that turns your Dyson into an automated window cleaning robot. Yes, it does. And it works really, really well. In fact, you know, I didn't mention it in the first video, but I do want to mention it now. The worst thing about this whole package is the Dyson that you have to, <laughs> that you have to use with it. I'll be honest, I picked this one up for it. I mean, it's got its original battery. It lasts okay on low, but obviously... Uh, any point it's going to stop and that's why in the first video I showed myself turning off the vacuum cleaner and letting it drop to the floor primarily to show that it's actually pretty flipping solid there's no flex in it at all it wasn't you know to highlight anything more than that that's why they give you the special adapter I've bought these to customers before if I get a V11 trigger back in more than once I'll pop one of these on for the customer because obviously it's where they're pulling it too hard my one in order to get one reasonably cheap I bought a broken one this bit of plastic is broken Ben flap clips also broken so I can't actually use this which is a little bit annoying it's fantastic that they include it but yeah for me that does pose a slight problem and yeah this is i have using it around the house really it's but it's it's mine now what should we do with it comment down below but yeah and also the fact that you know again with bear in mind it'll be on you don't actually have to really i guess do much with it you can still sit it down but it's still there if you want to remote control the thing manually which i don't quite know why you'd want to but perfectly uh, well as the automation eh, it's just a bit clunky it is the worst part of the whole kit and obviously it's nothing to do with the company that makes it their part is top notch and obviously they sent it to well me us vacuum cleaner collectors primarily and yeah as you saw in the before video and it makes it very long a SIBO hose with one of the Manchester Vax SIBO two Dyson V8 era star adapters and wouldn't you know it you don't even need the pneumatic hose to run this it this just switches straight into there but you do because again Salto W1 is designed for the air watts on this I hooked it up to the NQ100 pneumatic quick but sadly because it has no airflow on normal this wouldn't even stick to the window. On boost it was too much. On max this is too much. It clamps itself down and won't move. This is too much on one. This is why you had to have the pneumatic hose with the bent ten, with the bleed valve open, then this, then that. And it, it is quite an amazingly big package, but it works and means that I could use it. I mean, this lasts for an hour and a half on session one. You know, if we've got one bar, no, two bars, there we go. We get, I'll be confident for at least 45 minutes with that, which is good because we're now about to go and do some window cleaning. We're going to go and hike ourselves upstairs and clean the bedroom window. Now, when I mentioned I haven't cleaned the windows, I did pre clean my downstairs windows before the demonstration in the manual it does state it and I can see why I mean you're just relying on you know this absorbing the dirt which is fine you know I fully understand it but obviously if you go setting this up on your conservatory roof it's not going to do if I, you, know, you will destroy it blasting all the crud around itself if your windows are completely filthy clean them first then this, with its lovely little glass flower tablets, 
does do a fantastic job. However, my upstairs windows have an entire year's worth of dust on them because I don't clean them very often. It doesn't bother me too much. It stops Felix flying into them because they're not completely shiny. So we're going to send this on to what I would consider probably okay for it. And yeah, we will see how it copes and anything else we find along the way. Right, before we go upstairs, we can fill it up before we go, because yeah, I have been emptying it. Again, to empty it, you just push the nozzle in, tip it out. And I did that and just put it back into the little bottle. So it actually works out quite economical. If you use it regularly, I dare say, you can just leave it full of water. Um, uh, make sure you push the valve in. Oh, there we go. Yeah, that'll do. Full enough, that's going to do us nice. Because again, it only it missed that atomized jet of water out and doesn't use too much at all. Right, let's go. Welcome to my bedroom window. It's not actually too bad from afar. I mean, obviously, the bottom inch has bird slob everywhere, but the rest of it isn't too bad. I mean, there's a bit of bird poo up at the top there, and there's an awful lot of watermarks. Oh, they are dirty, but my phone will not focus on the watermark, so there's no point caring. I guess I'm just going to plug in the base station. There you go. There's its booting beep. Turn on the pneumatic. Stick it to the window. And then press play. And then push the water button. As you can see, it'll go in and out on the edges, settle itself down a bit, and then do a half over that pass, straight across to the other side. And then do the same on there. It should be pretty freaking good covering. And then up the centre to do the main part of the glass, ensuring that it all gets doubly done. I'm not even touching it, look. Here's my hands. And with the two beeps, we'll hold it. Oh, I'll take it off the glass. I get it. As soon as you take it off, it knows. Oh. And then got to unplug it to turn it off. And that's really very, very clean. Let's do the outside.
<sighs> and that went really, really well, considering how watermarked and dirty the glass was after probably an entire season without being cleaned. I haven't done it since autumn, at the very least. It did incredibly well, and I actually sent it around many times. I didn't just do one each inside and out and getting B-roll, and I'm pretty sure it missed a bit in a certain number of times. It would do a, like half of the glass, and then... Missed the other half. So this ended up going around about six times in the end. And yeah, it looks really good still. The hose gets a little bit caught on the brick edging that I've got under my windows as it scrapes up and down. But yeah, now all I would have to do is take off these two rings, give them a wash, and then huh, go get a package of one of the many others that are provided in the box. Oh, and look, you can just go straight away again. Ideal for, I mean, I'm immediately thinking of all of the meeting rooms in the office where I work. They've got big, vast expanses of glass that never get truly filthy, you know, it's all internal, but they just get dusty and murky and need, you know, pepping up and crikey. If you had this set up with the MBV, you could hit play, walk away and go do something else for 15 minutes. And it would probably do the entire glass. It would do it really well too. That's for, oh my goodness, this is a little bit fiddly, but I guess it is what it is. Yeah, if I now, you know, in two or three weeks time, sent this around my windows again, which I intend to, I reckon it would suddenly do much better than they did just now, because obviously they're not filthy. That's why it says, give your windows a clean first, and then repeated use of this will keep them maintained. I can stick it on my back door now, and it would do a really good job, because obviously it's been scrubbed and cleaned before. Yeah, wouldn't go send this up on your conservatory roof, but I am ever so, ever so impressed with how it's just done my bedroom window. Are you impressed? What do you think of the Salto W1 window cleaning, Dyson window cleaning attachment? I don't know. I think I much prefer using it with another, it has to be very low air watts though, very low powered vacuum cleaner. I imagine a nice Hooverette would probably suit this thing quite well. If you had a Hooverette doing nothing and could adapt Dyson to Hoover, which you can do, Hoover to pit fit, go via 35 millimeters, it's not too difficult. I reckon you could have a fun, gadgety, useful thing on your hands and you know send it roaming for ages at a time. You could probably use it on laminate flooring as well, but obviously it wouldn't know when to stop and I think that would confuse it. It, it, it needs to edge its way along bump, turn, which it does very, very well with all the gyroscopes and whatnot inside of it. So I hope you have enjoyed. Thank you for watching me clean my windows once more. I'm sort of checking in there is dry and it is bone dry indeed. I and the Salto W1 will see you soon. Bye bye.